Hey everybody, Hank and Sharon here from New Loft Creative. Sorry we couldn't be with you, but we hope this helps to give you some education on social media. Uh, let's talk about choosing the right social media platforms for your business. Now, here's why you should take notes for the next 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to get you some up to the month statistics on social media usage. Uh, there's a 300 page, 299 page uh, report that comes out every year on social media, and, and we've gone through it. Uh, so you don't have to. Absolutely. So here's another reason why you should take notes. Um, here's your first note. Send us an email, info at uloftcreative.com to get this free book. We will email it to you. It will give you a year's worth of social media content, which you can find at that URL at the bottom. You can write that down too. We got three, two, one. Okay, they got it. Uh, just a bit about us. Uh, we were voted America's number one coaching team for small business marketing. We competed against several hundred others a couple of years ago, and we won. Uh, we've trained thousands of small business owners on how to use social media. Uh, we've done six best-selling books. But today, uh, our mission is to help you find the right social media platform and help you make that decision. Uh, it, it all started because we went to a lot of events uh, and figured out the only way it really worked was that if we hired the person uh, that was selling the course. And that's not what today is. We're just going to give you information so you can make those decisions by yourself. We're here to help if you get stuck, but you can do all of this on your own. Yeah. You know, often I see on social media a post by someone who is asking their audience, where else do you post? besides on Facebook. And really that's not the right question. It doesn't matter where I post because my audience might be different than your audience. So really the best question to ask is where is your audience already on? Which platform are they on where you should be posting? It might be Facebook, it might be something else, but the best way to start is who's my audience? What platforms are they on? Yeah, just a quick, a few quick stats here. The most, the most amazing one, um, average internet user time is over two hours a day. Really? That's it? Just two hours? It's not usually in one block, right? Yeah. Usually it's a few minutes at a time on their device. Yeah. Yep. Uh, three quarters of North Americans are using social media and social media use is only rising. So keep track and keep note of that. Uh, so you looked at this slide. Uh, why? <laughs> so you don't have to. Uh, there's just a few reasons why people are using social media or and they can split out why they do it. Yes. So just, you know, usually because we're, we're talking to you, you know, via the chamber, you're looking at a business reason. So, you know, you can see how far down, uh, right? Network for work, right? General networking, research on product, right? It's, it's not the top reasons, right? The top reasons are news and events and staying up to date with friends and family, yeah. right? It's not, it's not actually for business as the top reasons. How, how that got broken down was that uh, people usually offered three or four or five different reasons why it would work. So here's a warning. Uh, social media isn't a silver bullet. You can't just do social media for your marketing. Uh, and how do you find them? How do you attract their attention once you're on there? Well, that's the messaging part. Um, a lot of people use it like a, a yellow pages. Go big, go home. Make sure you have your a business page as opposed to just a personal profile. Uh, groups are awesome to take part in, especially if it's where your client, your type of client or your target market are hanging out. And really important, um, video. Almost everyone is accessing uh, social media on their devices. So video shows up really well on those. Make sure you're using it. More and more video. Yep. So the next question begins, okay, well, now what should I be posting? And it, it, you've probably heard of the Pareto principle before, 80-20 happens in social media as well. So on your personal profile, 80% is personal and 20% is business. And on your business page, it's exactly the opposite. 80% business, 20% personal. What shouldn't they be posting? You know, we don't, we don't want to hear about the drama happening. Really, here's what it comes down to. Nothing that someone could perceive is negative. Be positive. Um, and share business tips, things that you're learning, things that you're reading, things that you're writing your, your blog, for example, right? Yeah. The videos that you're doing. The other question we get a lot is, how often should I be posting on social media? And then we give you the answer and then you say, oh. <laughs> at least once a day. Yeah. As you can see, <clears throat> right? They all tell you at least once a day. Yeah. 
And, and if, you, if you come to our social media webinars that were longer, there's, there's a lot of rationale for that. Please just trust us right now. It's at least once a day. <laughs> so let's go through some of the, the demographics of some of the platforms and you'll be able to tell. All right, the, the big monster is Facebook. It is indeed. Uh, you're, at the top of each of these slides, you're gonna see that um, the, the total number of people that are using it in the world, Facebook is by far and away the, the biggest one. Uh, so if, if you were only gonna pick one, then we'd recommend that one, uh, but let's get into a few of the others. Twitter, easiest to get in trouble. <laughs> um, two thirds of the users are men and, and the biggest age range is 25 to 49. Uh, you can, you can, if, if you're going to share a link, uh, it's one of the best ones to use. Pinterest. Mostly women. Yep. Yep. And that, in that 18 to 34 range. Yeah. If that's your target market, then Pinterest is the one to get a hold of. Especially if there's something visual to share. A, a lot of folk don't consider YouTube to be a social media site. It is kind of hard to have a conversation yeah. on and be social. Yeah, but, but every video has an opportunity, if you turn it on, to have comment below it. Yes. Uh, the best thing about this is that when you're, when you're shooting videos, uh, it's a great place to store them. If you do a live on one of the other platforms, uh, download it and then upload it to your YouTube channel, uh, which is, is free. Um, but remember, the ages on this one, really well distributed all the way across. This seems to be a, a platform that everyone knows how to use. Just don't let them live only on YouTube. Make sure you back them up onto your hard drive. Yeah. Uh, LinkedIn, that's the next best place, I think, for, for most of us in the chamber, because most of us are looking for professionals. LinkedIn is not a resume database. It is a, a professional's database. And so it is a good one to be on because mostly your target market are professionals. That's who has the spending power to invest with you. Yep. We're finding a lot of our conversations are starting there. Uh, Instagram, Almost 50-50 split. And that's a difference, right? It yeah. used to be mostly women like Pinterest, and now it's more 50-50. I think it's because of the video. More and more video, and so the men are being drawn to it as well for those easy stories yeah. and reels. So, And remember, this is, this is images only, so you want to make sure that your images are telling your story properly. You might have to add some text to some, but you want to make sure you're telling your story right. All right, this is, this is a, a fun one. TikTok, Snapchat. If your audience is younger, younger, <laughs> uh, great way to to connect with them. Um, there are short videos only, and you're competing with a lot of people who are, who have a lot of time on their hands to make really fun videos. Uh, fun does tend to get more yes, engagement, but we have a, a client that that got two million uh, views, views, and it was about human resources. Alignable. Oh my! Wait, my what's new alignable? Favorite. This, so the difference between Alignable and LinkedIn is Alignable is all about small business owners. So if you're not engaged on Alignable, you're, you're missing out. Um, it, it, is a, it is a great place to be the big fish in a much smaller pond um, when you compare it with LinkedIn. Yep. Uh, that's, that's really cool. And what's really neat, um, you can start your own group. So they'll be opening that up shortly. We're, we're moderators for a couples in business group. In fact, Sharon got business person of the year two different, well, three different years, two different times. So way to go, Ben. You didn't know that slide was there. Did I didn't. You? All right. Um, Clubhouse, if you've been on social media the last, or, or online in the last couple of months, um, you've started to hear about Clubhouse. Um, I think this is a, a conspiracy to make sure that everybody is watching or using right. Apple products. Um, it's, it's, it's no media. It's all social. It's all verbal. There's no audio only. Or, or audio. Uh, we're just getting, we're just starting to play in it. Uh, but it's like it, eavesdropping on conversations. Yeah. Um, don't, don't, buy, just don't glaze over on this one. Here's this slide. This information really showed us that most people, almost everybody, if they're on one platform, they are definitely using two or three. Uh, so what you can do is post the same kind of things on every platform. So, um, how do you get help with it? All right, grab your pen. We're going to give you a free research. research. Shorts. Gosh, I talk for a living. Uh, you can come to our, our boot camp. Uh, it's going to be March 25 through 7, three, da three hours a day for three days, and we'll put your entire marketing plan together. Or if you're not available there, uh, we've got several other options. Reach out. We'd love to help you, including freemarketingconsultation.com, uh, where you get a 30-minute success call. So, 
there it is. Hank and Sharon saying goodbye. Remember, if everything happens for a reason, be the reason things happen. See you next time, everybody. <laughs>